Fantasy Star Online 2 is an amazing experience. From the combat to the in-depth of just everything, it's a beautiful experience. However, it's completely marred by the incompetence of the publishers each and every time. In case you're not aware of this, PSO2 has been out in Japan for like eight years now, and uh, we haven't got it until recently. There was a short stint where Sega said they were going to release it in America, and then they went radio silent after that, and we had not heard of it since then. And then about, I believe it was last year at E3, Microsoft announced that they were going to bring PSO2 over to the States. I was skeptical because Sega had done this before, as I stated earlier. However, I was cautiously optimistic as well. And they, like, there were rumors going around that it was going to be on Steam rather than a Microsoft Store exclusive. And it would just, like, I was really hoping it would be on Steam because I believe the root of the issues that the launcher and everyone is suffering with right now is because of the choice that Microsoft made to release it exclusively on the Windows Store or Windows Game Store. See, I, I barely use that stuff thing because it's, it's, it's just bad. There has been a lot of annoyance by the fans on the PC side of things with the handling of Fantasy Star Online 2 on PC. Specifically the fact that PSO2 barely mentioned uh, the PC release. And we were not aware of the exact release date until about four or five days before the re exact release date. And our time to preload was like four hours before launch. So there has been a severe lack of any sort of competent idea of what's going on with this. Now keep in mind this is a month after the uh, launch on the Xbox One. I don't, I'm not a developer, so I don't know how this stuff works, but you would think that within a month they'd figure out how to get this to work with their launcher. But it feels like no one that was bug testing even installed it on their computers because there have been issues after issues going on. So many people getting error signs, people's games deleting themselves. It's a absolute mess. Myself, I've had the game delete itself twice now. And it's not much of a problem for me because my download takes about an hour to get it all done at most. But for some friends of mine, who live in the middle of nowhere, their hours take six hours. I got a friend that takes, like, fucking two days to download a 40 gigabyte game. Imagine him wasting all that time downloading a game to play it for 15 minutes. He closes out of the, uh, he closes out of the, the game to put on full screen only for the game to crash and the game... Thanos snaps itself out of his hard drive. Needless to say, a lot of the player base is absolutely livid that this is happening, and I can't quite blame them. While I try to give the benefit of the doubt, we were given a month. We were given a month to wait with no next to no news. Next to no news, and we got this very botched and, to be honest, half-assed launch on the PC. And that's because Microsoft is doing it. And I'm not going to say Sega could do it better, because the reality of the situation is Sega wouldn't do it. Sega would not bring it over to America. They left us high and dry for eight years, you know, tickled our balls for six of them, and then I believe, you know, two years ago they said, yeah, we're not doing it anymore. So the idea that this would be fixed if it was being launched by Sega is just not realistic. It's just upsetting, because as a player, I've, I've felt like this whole time, where we, we were just like looking for like, come on, give us something. Give us some news about what we're doing. Like, give us, you know, two weeks before the release to tell us when to do this, to make us feel like we're valid 
to your game. To make us feel like we matter, that the player base matters. The PC player base is something that you want to keep. But instead, all the PSO2 blogs were all about what was going on in the Xbox store, which kind of made people irritated. Like, no comments on what was happening with PC. Just, just news on what's happening in the game that we can't access because we don't have Xboxes. And it, it, it just sucks. Now, before you say, Oh no, PC, PC, Master Race guy, sad. I love consoles. I don't like Xbox, personally. It's not a console I really care too much about. I have a PS4 as well as a Switch, and I use a computer which covers the majority of what Xbox can offer. But I, I hope that this doesn't bring some sort of, uh, like, bad blood between the PC player base and uh, the uh, console player base. I, I've seen more stupid shit before, so don't, don't get me wrong, it, it could happen. But yeah, I just wanted to, like, let you guys know what's going on with this PSO2 scene right now. Hopefully next week, when they do their weekly update, they'll be able to fix a lot of these problems. I doubt it to be honest I don't like I don't know how much they're gonna have to go in depth they might have to update the Microsoft store front I have no idea how this works but for now I'm you can't even say I'm cautiously optimistic I'm cautiously disappointed that way if something great does happen I can say hey this is awesome rather than when something terrible happens be disappointed but that's about it. Thanks for listening to me talk about the state of PSO2 right now. I probably won't cover it too much, but I feel like this is something that I, you know, is, is really near and dear to my heart. I love this franchise, and I want to see it succeed, and I just don't want this launch to be a reflection of how this game will be handled in the future. Because I can't go another eight years without a Fantasy Star Online game, guys. Like, come on, man, I can't. <laughs> and that's about it. However, I do want to hear what you guys want to say. I'm a small enough YouTuber, so when I say I read all the comments, I can actually physically do it. So feel free to uh, tell me whether I'm right or wrong, or whether I'm a terrible person because I don't like the Xbox One. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you later.